Hey guys, this is Tristan. Um, I meant to post a little bit earlier on during the day, um, and I meant to post yesterday too, actually, but I uh, woke up yesterday with a cold and it's still kicking my ass. And so I'm really sorry about posting so late at night again. Um, I know for the people who do watch these videos, it's a bit of a pain to find out the next morning. Um, so, first thing, I uh, thought I'd start off with a bit of a personal story. Um, and it's actually a little bit funny. Um, I went to a birthday party for a friend of mine at a club and I got carded. And this might not be something that most people find surprising, except for the fact that in the province I live in, I've been legal to drink for 10 years. I'll be 30 in July. So I guess I should be flattered for, you know, looking as, a lot younger than I actually am, but uh, I got a few gray hairs and yeah, it just, it blew me away that the guy stopped me and carded me and then when I stepped into the bar, they proceeded to pat me down, which was a new one for me. Um, I never actually had that happen. And I lived in Toronto for four years. I went to the club there on a number of occasions. So that kind of struck me as a little paranoid, but, but yeah, that was fun. It was a good night, but it started off really weird with a wonderful pat down from a very husky gentleman and um, requiring two pieces of identification to even get in the bar. So there was that. Um, two things in the news. Uh, the first thing is uh, I thought was kind of weird and a little bizarre is a gentleman named Gareth Morgan, this is a uh, gentleman from New Zealand, uh, is running a campaign against cats in New Zealand. He says that they uh, kill native birds and not a word of a lie, uh, the first thing you see on his website about this whole thing is that little fluff ball you own is a natural born killer. Firstly, most people, as far as I'm aware, or at least a lot of people, own indoor cats. They only get outside by accident and all the indoor cats I know, if they even get outside the door, um, a lot of them just kind of stop and just stand there and just don't move and then just won't come back inside. That's my experience anyway. If anybody else has a different experience, be, feel free to let me know. But uh, I've noticed that cats that are predominantly indoor don't like going outside. Um, the other thing is that cats outside killing wild animals, that's a responsibility of the owners. That really is. like uh, That's an irresponsible owner that's letting their cat outside um, and if they're letting it kill things and just in a place that's as fragile ecologically as New Zealand because there's no natural predators there for a lot of these animals then you should be keeping your cat inside or on a leash and yes cats can stay on a leash I owned a couple of cats and they only went outside when they had a leash on so um, yeah no I just I couldn't believe it and uh, Oh, another thing I couldn't believe. It just it, it kind of strikes me as just weird and dumb when you know more people in New Zealand own no more a larger percentage of people in New Zealand own cats than you know most other developed nations. It's like forty three percent of all people own cats. So telling people all of a sudden that you know you shouldn't own cats because they're killing wildlife. It's going to raise the hackles in a lot of people. Um, and the second thing I already posted this on my Tumblr and actually got really frustrating with uh, a young man at Dawson College named uh, Hamad or Hamed Alkabaz. Um, he found a security flaw in the uh, college's academic web portal and he exposed it and he brought it to the attention of the administrators and to the attention of the person, the, the company that developed it. And they're like, okay, fine, that's great. And uh, when he, after he told him about it, he went back and he tested it again to see if they fixed the flaw. And he says that each time he did so, he informed the college about what he was doing and what was going on. And he said that he got the go-ahead. And the university said, this is what the university or college said that this was not the case. And they have since expelled him um, for doing something that he basically asked permission to do. And at one point actually got permission from the uh, the computer science department or 
the information department or whatever it happens to be at that college. Uh, but yeah, but the, on the downside, he's been expelled from the college. On the upside, he's had 10 job offers, including the company that designed the, the web portal originally. So, you know, he can go out and work in the workforce and work for a company, and then if he wants to finish his diploma or degree, he can always come back a little later as a mature student, um, where a lot of this will be behind him. So, and that was all I had for today. I haven't had a lot of time to look at things or poke around very much. Uh, because, again, this cold has just been kicking my ass. So I'll talk to you guys probably a little later on this week. Uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe or like them. And have yourselves a wonderful evening. Good night.